Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down an interesting storm that'll bring a rare weather event to parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley tomorrow. This will bring lake effect snow that could accumulate multiple inches of snow, colder weather, the potential for water spouts, yes we're talking about lake effect snow and water spouts in the same sentence, and as well as the chance for thunder snow which is quite rare. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the northern plains in the Midwest and this is the storm that will be bringing the chance for water spouts lake effect snow and as well as thunder snow crazy to say that all in one sentence but this will be moving down to the south and east over the next several hours and by tomorrow morning we will be dealing with the potential for some snowfall across parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley that could bring multiple inches of snow and we'll talk more about that here in just a second but I also want to mention that we had that big cold frontal boundary just moved through much of the United States yesterday. There is still a lot of moisture though, spanning from Texas back into the Northeast. Strong nor southwesterly flow in the upper atmosphere is kind of dragging this cloud cover up to the North and East. So pretty thin area overall. I mean, we have no cloud cover really in the Southeast. Meanwhile, off to the North, it's also pretty much the same story. Not a whole lot of cloud cover. So it's kind of a little interesting little battle here. And then also down to the Southeast United States, I do want to mention there's actually a small little disturbance that's off the coast of Florida. This is actually had a 60% chance to become a tropical storm or even a brief tropical depression. Never really happened, never materialized, but there is some convection off coast. Just want to throw that out there. You might see that little twirl there. Uh, that it would be why, but obviously not really much of a threat to the United States, and we are getting quite close to the end of hurricane season. West coast of the United States, it's dry, and it's going to stay like that for the next few days, and then also across parts of the southern tier, this area will also start to dry out more, and also we're going to start to see a little bit more of a warm-up as we go later in this week, and we'll discuss more details on that later in this forecast. All right, let's talk more about this rare weather event that's going to be taking place across the Midwest because there's a lot of interesting features to this. So here are your temperatures going into tomorrow morning. This is at about six to seven o'clock in the morning hour, so right around sunrise. Notice over the Great Lakes, we have temperatures actually in the, about the low 40s, and it's kind of interesting to look at that because onshore, we're looking at low temperatures in the 20s and low 30s. So that's going to be a very interesting little sequence here because we're going to be watching a lot more upper level humidity across parts of the Great Lakes, this will actually give the chance for some thunder snow, and which is, again, a very rare phenomenon. It doesn't happen very often. So if you are right along the Great Lakes, I would recommend that you are monitoring the weather closely. And if you ever hear thunder while it's snowing in your location, just know it's a pretty rare little phenomenon. Another thing we're watching for as well is the chance for maybe an isolated water spout or two. The environment, believe it or not, is actually capable of all this. It's kind of a weird little setup that we have. I do want to throw out here the lightning flash density on the HRR model. This is kind of a little thing that, you know, again, looking at this is kind of crazy to look at, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of how much lightning we are currently going to be probably detecting around a lunchtime tomorrow, this around 12 o'clock. It actually shows the amount of flashes that we might see. So anywhere that you see gray, and that little blue cyan color, that's where we have the best chance for at least some thunder snow to occur. So again, if you're right there in western Michigan, maybe eastern Wisconsin, maybe even near the Chicago area, look outdoors a little bit during the afternoon. Don't be surprised if you're a little rumble. That would be likely because of thunder. So again, a little interesting thing. Also, northwest Indiana, same boat there. We might even see a little bit as well back over in northeast Ohio. So keep that in mind if you're along Lake Erie. A couple different spots to see this potential weather phenomenon occur. Now, no guarantees that you will definitely see this again it's gonna be a bit hit and miss but again you'll at least probably if you're right along the great lakes you might see a flash of lightning or two again don't be surprised it would be thunder or snow all right one other thing i want to point out before i show you the future radar and the snowfall totals this is the low level jet again we don't really talk about the low level jet much when we're talking about snow but this is what helps to rotate supercells now we're really not talking about supercell potential tomorrow but one thing we are watching for is a strong enough low level jet over parts of the great lakes primarily near northwest Indiana, where there might be a isolated water spout or two. Again, no guarantees on this, but the environment is capable. If it all sets up to be as is, we very well might see an isolated water spout. That does not mean you have to be concerned about a tornado. It's very unlikely we'll see any tornadoes tomorrow. It's more of just one of those things right along the Great Lakes where it is warm enough to support a potential water spout. That potential does exist. All right, let's go into the future radar. Let's kind of dive into this. So tonight, there will be some snow across northern Wisconsin. Again, this is relatively light stuff. We're not really talking 
talking about heavy snowfall where we're going to have 6 to 12 inches. That's not what we're really looking at here. Big reason why is because the surface temperatures are actually warm enough to kind of melt this stuff off pretty quickly once it hits the ground. So unless you get maybe a pocket of heavy snow, which right now the HRR model shows a lot of light to maybe moderate stuff, I don't think we're really going to see a whole lot of accumulation out of this. Once we go into tomorrow morning, we're going to see some snowfall across parts of eastern Wisconsin and also near the Chicago area. Notice over here, this is all rain, and this is your best shot for thunder snow as we get closer to lunchtime tomorrow, would be again close to Michigan. As we go into the afternoon, we still have that spin. Here's your low pressure system. Again, snow will kind of spin around that. Snowfall over parts of Indiana. Again, very light stuff. We might get a little bit of pockets of moderate snow across parts of the western Michigan region, so be mindful of that. We might actually get a few inches of snow there. Once we go into the evening hours tomorrow into the overnight hours, that low pressure system just fizzles out. It doesn't really remain as much. We could still see some lake effect snow. Notice in northwest Indiana, it kind of shows that just a little bit. There is a potential for some lake effect snow, but it probably will not last super long. That does not, that basically means that we will not be seeing 50 inches of snow like we saw in Buffalo last year. In terms of snowfall totals, it's going to really range substantially because we're talking about lake effect snow. Sometimes when we get some heavy bands of lake effect snow and they last a few hours, we can easily get upwards of almost a foot of snow. Now, in other instances, we're really looking at a low pressure system with very minimal snow activity around it. It's very light stuff. So what the HR model has given us an indication of is that we'll likely see somewhere between a coating to maybe an inch of snow for much of at least northeastern Illinois back into Ohio and Indiana. Now, back into Wisconsin, it's going to really range a lot. We'll be talking anywhere from from a coating to maybe upwards of four to five inches of snow. Again, if you're right along the lakes, maybe back up into like very far northwestern Wisconsin, we might get some heavy bands because of lake effect snow that could lead to maybe upwards of a half an inch or half a foot, excuse me, upwards of maybe even closer to a foot. Now, notice in western Michigan, this is an interesting area and as well as northwest Indiana, we'll probably see an inch or two, but notice over in western Michigan, we actually could see upwards of a half a foot of snow. Again, that is if lake effect snow really kind of focuses itself there. It very well could change last second and it's also might change entirely where the heavy snowfall really doesn't happen so keep that in mind again no reason to get your hopes up on this it might very well only be a coating to an inch in your location instead of like the six to seven inches but obviously that does remain a possibility since we are talking about lake effect snow and also over the next few days we are talking about a widespread freeze from pennsylvania back into texas we even have freeze watches in effect all the way through parts of virginia north carolina south carolina georgia you name it it's almost every state except for florida at least in the southern tier of the united states uh notice also some freeze watches in effect that do span into louisiana so be mindful protect sense of vegetation and also protect your pets and potentially pipes if you're further up to the north in terms of the temperatures tomorrow morning we will be talking about really cold temperatures all the way down into texas 20s and 30s that is again below freezing and as we go into wednesday morning those below freezing temperatures might go all the way down close to louisiana as in like the gulf coast and as well as back into parts of central and even almost southern mississippi so make sure again that you're protecting sense of vegetation and protecting your pets and pipes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.